Spongelka in the house here and eating <laughs> Frodetta's meat. I mean, oh, my smoked good. pork. That's a pretty you said you didn't like it. I do yeah. now. That's poke butt, too. Mandor, poke. Poke, Mandor don't miss no poke butt. Uh, uh-uh. That's Oh, he's getting very oh, fidgety. When, when he gets fidgety, he's <laughs> getting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, only on only on Whoop Radio can you have an ex old lady come in and getting ready to whip that ass, and then give her some smoked pork, and now she's gonna be happy. She ain't gonna bother no, you. No, I'm not. Oh, you still gonna be mad, aren't you? Yeah. Well, he's <laughs> given up a lot in that smoked meat. I can tell you that because he very I've rarely been gets it. For what? A month? She's been gone a month, and you hadn't seen her. And this is the first time. And this is no, how she would treat her. Me. Oh, okay. He's seen me. Now, wait a minute. The clothes in the bag, did that come from his place, or did you come from somewhere else? I came from another. I went to White Boy. Oh, you went to a White Boy's house. I know you ought to see ashamed of yourself. (laughs) (laughs) Fro Daddy, you like? Help me, love. Hey, Fro Daddy, my door. Hey, Chuck from G-Town. Oh, my God. You be ashamed. Hey, what's up, Chuck? Chuck I'm sitting there drinking a cold beer on Tuesday. Well, drunk on Tuesday. Why I'm can't you hear Chuck? White Why chicks waving at me Chuck? everywhere. Because you ain't got no headphones on because my door didn't let you put them on. Yeah, yeah. Put put them on. On. You done messed my whole head up in here. Who did? Hello? My door gave you the headphones so you gave his meat back. <laughs> the other way, honey. The other way. He honey. Doesn't. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Ooh. Looks like there might not be a Jap slapping in the making after all. Oh, look. I need That's a picture. That's my baby. Let me get a picture. Throw What's going on, down, Chuck? Rub it He's in. my baby. Did you, hear us, uh, did you hear me talking about Spongelka's in the house visiting my door? <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute, you're behind the microphone. Smile, you're on the camera. There, I got a picture of Maddo and Spongelica. I never met her. We're tarted. <laughs> right, what can we do for you, Chuck from G Town? Why don't we show my outlaw women? Outlaw women, just as Spongelica shows up. Oh, I got it. You got one over there? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You got one over there listening? <laughs> you ain't me. You're not bothering me. Outlaw I mean, women I make good I lovers. Know. All right, then. Pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Chuck, <laughs> I got you some outlaw women coming up. I got to get over here and take care of my door before he gets hurt. Good for All real, because right. I ain't feeling it coming. Bye-bye. Peace out. That tattoo was more Peace hard. out there. Hey, there's old Chuck calling in from Chuck from G-Town. G-Town? Yeah. A- yeah. A.K.A. Georgetown. Georgetown. Here you go. We got another caller who want to talk Spongelka. Go ahead. You want to talk Spongelka? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, 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 redhead wildcat. Well, what the hell you want to hear? I wanted to hear little David Wilkins. You played Roy Clark. No, I didn't. You did do it. I don't like him. Right here it is. Look. You didn't play little David Wilkins. I know his voice. Oh, my God. What song was it? It was... Uh, one monkey don't stop, no show. What kind of treatments he doing? Well, that was it, wasn't it? Well, no. What kind of treatment? Well, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Well, that's not I sat there and listened to it for a minute. I could have sworn that was the right one. No, it's not the right one. Well, it had his picture on there. Somebody's being a fool. He's got muscular cirrhosis. We'll try it. I got a little issue going on. I got to I got to take care of it. All right, play me uh, Hood Axe and Bony Fingers. My God, I got another one. Well, it is two for Tuesday. Yes, it is. All right, we'll try. Bye. Boy, boy redhead caught down. She's going to give you hell for sponge joking. Nope. Um, she ain't going to help me. <laughs> no, she's not coming to help you either. Neither am I. No. I got to leave early today. All right, uh, Fro Dad, you're live. Candyman. Candyman. You need, Mandor needs your help bad. Candyman, Candyman, can. Hey, uh, just tell Mandor I was in Chicago. You were in Chicago? Yeah. Oh, that might have been the white boy she'd been messing around with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you, tell Matador, I can't, you know, I can't read, tell everything. All right, brother, we won't we won't go past that, that line of scrimmage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how you be? Did you have a nice holiday? Oh, yeah, how about you guys? Yeah, but ours is pretty decent. Anytime you got a day off is a good day for me. Oh, Absolutely. I, I was in uh, Murphy's bro. Our grandson turned year old and went over for his party. Oh no! I got a sister lives in Murfreesboro. You got a sister that lives in there. I mean, not a sister, a uh, uh, niece. You mean a sister from another mister? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> He's drunk already. Uh, See, that has effect on me I like think that. He's just scared the adrenaline is flowing too hard. I think he's a little nervous because Spongebob has disappeared into the back room where he keeps his liquor. <laughs> 
And she is nowhere to be seen. Lord have her. She's carrying a Bible. That's a good sign. Well, well take care of the little man down there. No, I'm not taking care of nothing. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> No, don't leave me. <laughs> for himself, huh? You got that right. <laughs> it's a lose. She already got into his poetry. That's words for fighting. Yeah, but. Hell, he about to jab sap me one night for trying to take it back. Mm-mm-mm. Well, Matt, it don't hang in here, buddy. There ain't no doubt in my mind. Well, candy man, drop by and see us whenever you're in town. Yeah, do that. I- I'll do it. Have a great day, guys. All right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> she's she's in the back cleaning us out. <laughs> okay. now, you know you I'm right. You better get your ass back there and make sure she ain't in that office. No, oh, Lord help me. Uh there's gonna be some sh- missing. Oh, I think right. I know one of the kleptos that comes to your house every now and then and she well, may be back in town. I don't talk about it. Don't talk it up. No, bro. really, you better go back there. No, you you better go. I'm scared. I'm not going. She looked like she carried a knife. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Here. Now she's back. <laughs> Hell, somebody wanted to say hi to you. Who? He did know, I think it was Candy Man. Yeah. Candy. Yeah, they call him the Candy, the candy Man. Candy Man. He done, he done mm-hmm. called and everything. Wish me luck. He mixes it with milk chocolate. Makes the world taste Shut good. Up. Yeah. I have to come up with some galls for my ankle. Hey, what does your uh, shirt say? Good girls just don't get, get it. caught. Oh, and it's got diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> She's a robber. She is a diamond. Down one in the back, sunroof top, dig in the scene with a gangster lean. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, Clayton, we got heads up here today. Well, you and still got lipstick on your face. I got Spongelica happening yeah. to come through. Oh, here. look at that sparkle of lipstick. Coffee in here. <laughs> coffee. Now, girl, you better get over here and get her some coffee. And she needs something here. to eat. She's going to find that meat if you don't hide it. She wants her liquor. <laughs> well, you better be glad I took my beer home because she was taking it. Oh, that thing's, he's waiting for it to get rancid so to get him high when he eats it. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have any coffee. We got a coffee pot, but we can't afford the little things that go in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody spent all our money on the Beast petty cash Charlie. money on the coffee pot. Now we can't afford the coffee. Beast Charlie have liquor. I need it. Yeah, by God. Mm-hmm. They're open, aren't they, man? I don't want you to go there and buy <laughs> Hey, the women get $2 martinis from 430 yeah. to 530 Yeah. Give me some money. Yeah, right. And she need five dollars. What do you need five dollars for? Give that girl gas money. Oh, yeah, my daughter, give that girl some gas money. She did. Well, be oh, you did. Well, that's she sweet. Gave it. He's probably scared of his life right now. He looks a little nervous. Yes, I'm quiet, Anna. <laughs> he nervous if he don't want to hit this butt tonight. Oh, look, help me, help me, son. My daughter, you wouldn't hurt a woman. You wouldn't hit a woman, would you? Not with my. Not hit. Stig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mad Norris, she'll do anything. Oh, no, I'm gone. You better give her another piece of that pork butt. Like hitting something. No. You better give her. Note. Hey, Mad Uh forehead lick. A blue note. You going to do some leapfrogging? Now, Mad will do some leapfrogging. A blue on. note. Put that now. Wait, oh, she got that meat. Down, meat. Stop, that. Stop that now. Oh, Mad Norris, you messed up now. So oh. I finally brought him some poke, and it is gone. Shoo. Shoo, smell like a good campfire. I smell like... Not like a good old yeah. wood. Don't go there. Hickory wood. That's what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. Well, my door, this show's not going too good since you have your guests in here that you won't talk to. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but right now I'm speechless, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. Well, let's play a couple of songs. We got some requests we haven't played. We can do that. Gonna see his girl today. Oh, that's the last of the pork. There was only two pieces of pork. She got that. <laughs> she got that. You better hurry and hide that stuff. Oh, it is gone. Wait, hey, uh, don't don't be doing the that. The good thing about my smoked meat is your fingers smell like that meat all day long. You and can't get rid your of belt, it. belt, you can't smell it and everything. Throw yeah. Dad, you're live. What did he say, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Who, Maddor? Yeah. I don't know. What did you say, Maddor? That was speechless. something about being speechless. Yeah. Oh, no, hell. Now I'm speechless. That ain't Can dead. you believe that? He said speechless, not toothless. <laughs> That woman drive that ass up in <laughs> <laughs> What's she saying? Something about yeah. driving his ass up into something. Well, dude, tell yeah. yeah. That ain't funny, 44. <laughs> <laughs> you cut me with my pants down. Help me, dog. That is Spongelica. Yep, that's Tell him you'll spin him like a top. Spin him like a ceiling fan. Here, let me do this. <laughs> now you can hear it. Oh, man, well, I just had to call back. Yeah. When he That's said he was speechless, I thought to myself, what a liar. 
Uh, he's not speechless except when he's sleeping on my show. <laughs> I work hard, brother. I have to sit down and uh, I just yeah. fall asleep. Uh, she, she won't, she'll take it easy on you, Matador. Uh, yeah, I hey. know it. Yeah, take it easy on you, Spongelica. I will. Matador's trying to keep us cool right now. He's been real cool. I he's have. acting nice. Uh huh. He's been to. nice. Just That's our first date. Just wait till dark 30. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot till you see the whites of his eyes. <laughs> All right, then. Bye. All right, there. Fat forty four calling in. Well, hey, Spun Joe, you got the you got the phone lines ready. We got Fat forty four calling in. Who? Chuck from G Town. Uh, Who's next? Let's see. Fro Dad, you're live. Uh, we're here giving a free barbecue down there at the radio station. Free barbecue? Well, yeah. If you know Matador, just come take it from him. <laughs> you had a barbecue? Yeah, smoked pork, smoked chicken, finger licking. Oh, Who's this well, calling in? in Who is this? It's Mitch from B and B. Mitch, hey, what are you doing, Mitch? Hey, What's B and B? Hey, Mitch, I told you I had that smoked butt. We never did try to cook it up there. <laughs> well, we're on our way. Well, now, Matador may not want to give up anymore. Sponge Jacko's already taken half of it. And yeah, it's poor, good, too. Poor Matador ain't going to have nothing left. Oh, maybe next time. Yeah. <laughs> it won't be wasted. We're going to cook some up. I'm going to be there again Friday night. We'll cook up there. All right, Mitch hung up. <coughs> hey, Mitch is the guy that cooks our food for us up at B&B <coughs> Marina, Matador. You'd be nice to him. He'll give you some. Yeah. Is he the one that owns the uh, the little diner? He just well, cooks at he the He cooks diner. there. Oh, okay. <coughs> Lord, I think she just coughed up half my... Chicken. I reckon. Or poke. Poke. I noticed she went straight for the poke button, not the chicken. Yeah, I noticed poke. That poke's got a little more fat to it. Yeah. A little fat back. That's yeah. really all it is, a big old piece of bacon cut the wrong way. Just a bunch of fat and smoke with that good flavor. And rub your little shiny head with it, Matt Dory. Yeah, I don't Just, know about that. You're going to be sparkling not like a diamond in the rough for sponge elic, I bet. Spark right like a diamond. Like a diamond, diamond, yeah, diamond. Yeah, chicken <laughs> All right, then. Well, sponge elic, you got everything you need. You got $5. You got pork, pork, Sammy, pork meat. <laughs> not yeah, pork. You got your Holy Bible with you? Yep, no, no. She's going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> It must have probably got a hole cut out in it with something hidden in it. Yep. That's yeah. where Maddor hides his pork chops usually in his Bible. It's in the other bag. He knows we won't look in it. Mm. That's what uh, uh, Maddor tried to sneak that in when he got taken to the juvenile. I mean, uh, he got uh, incarcerated, and he said, I got to take my Bible with me. He had a little bitty gun in it, and they called him. Yeah, man, I'm just trying to protect myself with a... I got me a little twenty two. Yeah. They didn't 22. like it. They got mad, didn't they? Mm-hmm. They took his gun from him, too. Okay, we well, about 14 minutes up on an hour or 5 o'clock. <laughs> well, look at here. you, my little radio man. Yeah, I'm getting real now. Yeah, let's play some music and we'll be back. I'm going to play the same damn song again that I played for Red already, and, mm-hmm. and if it's wrong, then it's not me. We'll be right back. You're the monkey that's on my back Always talking about making tracks Telling me but you're gonna leave I think you stay just to torture me But let me tell you something you may not know One monkey don't stop no- I was just kidding, I was gonna do a little bony fingers for you Rain coming down from the roof won't hold her Well, I lost my Will get a little better in the morning. Maybe things will get a little better. The clothes need washing and the fire won't start. Kids all crying and you're breaking my heart. Whole damn place is falling apart. But maybe things will get a little better. Maybe things will get a little better. Work your fingers to the bone. What are you? I try 
But I see the pretty woman come and take it Say, baby, things are getting a little better in the morning 